Los Angeles, California, along with Ray Frost. I'm James Sabalski. A lot of excitement going into this one here, just moments away from puck drop. Ray Ferraro between the two benches. What do you expect tonight? The generation of offense is going to be really interesting to watch. Both teams like to get their defense up into the rush, and really, you're going to play a little bit of a risky game if you can score more often. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Kings take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Great poke check on the reach. Knocked away with the stick by Blake. Los Angeles plays it against the boards. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Lemieux. LA's gained possession. There's the whistle, icing the call. Lemieux's known to deke at top speeds with his ankle breaker zone ability. Gretzky's a great teammate because of his third eye zone ability and it means he can set someone up with the perfect dish. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Moves it quickly over to Curry. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Gretzky's won the draw. And he says no. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Lemieux going off for interference. If he makes the same play but keeps his feet rolling along, he's not going to get called for interference. Wasn't the case on this one, though. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. You kind of muddle along in a 0-0 game, and now you got a real chance to break that score open. A first power play for him. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And they clear that puck. Can't get it to go. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. Millen's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four-on-four on four is all about getting a two-on-one somewhere on the ice. Use that extra space to your advantage. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. The Kings take possession off the faceoff. Los Angeles has it against the half wall and makes the routine save. LA's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Penalty expires and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. Miller's ready to go. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the corner. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! That's a bullseye. He gets the puck that close to the net. He never misses. What a quick shot. We know he can really do some damage when he gets in tight to the cage. That's his close quarter superstar ability, and he's got the goal here. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And that's deflected. To the low slot. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Rudy. 
He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Great reach with the poke check. He might have a step here. Denies him on the breakaway. Harris freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Rudy's ability to read the play is evident. He gets the blocker on this scoring chance. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 1-0 the score. LA's won the draw and they'll go to work. Moves it to Millen. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. A little back and forth. Off to left wing and into center. Puck battle along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Lemieux. And no luck on that pass attempt. Taken by Sador. Inside his own end moves the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Granato. Takes the pass. And he stands tall in goal. Takes the feed. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. LA's gained possession along the boards. They go on the attack through center. LA's got the puck along the wall. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. The Penguins have been really impressive defensively tonight. Their reads, their jump on the play has resulted in a number of stolen pucks. Oh, and he turns on the burners and they'll wave off the icing here. I thought that was a gimme icing call, but he was able to beat the defenseman down the ice to the puck. Keeps it alive. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. The Penguins play it along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Denies him in close. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. More than half the frame has been played here. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Los Angeles plays it along the wall. Quick feed to Curry. Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop. Great tracking, he finds the puck. He gets the glove up, makes the save on a dangerous chance. Late goings of this period. The Penguins lead it 1-0. The Kings win it. Grabs control of it at the point. And now it's grabbed by Trottier. And here at center, that's intercepted. Pittsburgh's got control of the puck. The Kings have it against the wall. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Pumps it away in his own end. LA is moving it up the ice. Handles the puck. Poked away by Coffey. That's a textbook save by Rudy. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Another look on the replay at a good scoring chance that's turned aside. The goalie's in position. Doesn't have to make a spectacular save, so it's a good one. The centermen glide into position. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Pushes it across to Miller. Takes a hit on the play. Quick pass to McSorley. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McIntyre. Puck picked up in the open ice. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to McIntyre. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Picking up some steam at center ice. Here he is from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Big stop just as time expires in the period. And with the sound of the horn, that means the conclusion of period number one. One nothing is the score as both teams make their way to the respective rooms.
As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. LA has won the draw. Nice zone entry from the right side. Denies him! He got all of it! Though he laid a solid hit on him there, he was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. The Penguins looking against the half wall. The Kings take possession in the defensive end. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Foley with a stop. Harris is going to let things slow down here for a moment and opts for the faceoff. Really hasn't had much to do this period, James, so he gets a chance to freeze it, and he gobbles it up. I wanted to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. Puck picked up by Murphy. Moves it over to Stevens. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Blake's moving the puck through his own zone. And play continues here. And a stick break setup. Harris off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit, you need your goalie to help you out. Rudy's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Ferris doesn't shy away from throwing out an aggressive poke check, guys, but he knows he's got to time it perfectly or else he'll be out of position. That's his all or nothing zone ability. Los Angeles takes possession off the faceoff. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. If you're going to leave a rebound, it might as well be 30 feet away from the net. That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Sometimes you pick up a little extra in the replay here. And as you look at this, the goalie is so sharp to make this save. That's an excellent shot that is taken, and the goalie turns it away. Millen's won the draw. And now it's over to Sandstrom. He got all. Yeah, and it was that guy who's picking himself and his stick up off the ice. Here he is in wow. front! Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Hey, we get a good look here where the man advantage break is cultivated. Now they've got it clean in. They don't make a mistake, and the goalie has no chance as it's in the net. Pittsburgh's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Takes control of the puck. L.A. is trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. He's got a little jump. All alone. Los Angeles has it behind the cage. The Kings will play it in their own end. Snaps one here in the slot. Oh, he tries to windmill glove save here, but there's so much traffic. I don't know that he really had a look at it. He's trying to catch it, and he missed it. Los Angeles is back to center ice, and now that much closer to tying things up. They're just filled with confidence and adrenaline now. Their bench exploded when they scored that goal to bring them to within one marker. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Well, he's calling him out now. And here we go. Yeah, this one was uh, to be expected. After the player got hurt, you would hope his teammate would jump in. 
and try and defend them. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Well, that fight seemed to come out of nowhere. There's an energy and a frustration to the game, and it seemed to spill over right there. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Drives it to the crease. Great save from in tight. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Move to the middle. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Picked up along the boards by Miller. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. The Penguins move it ahead. Into the corner. Nothing doing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Comes up with the stop. Oh, another consecutive stop. S scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here. That puck's got to go quick into the net. He used that superstar ability to get that chance, guys, and he does not miss. That's a great goal. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. And they cough it up at center. The Penguins have stolen a bunch of pucks tonight, and I'm telling you, James, in a close game, this easily could be the difference. Takes a shot! Oh. He scores! James, I'm really impressed with They just gave up a goal. Now they turn it around, go back down the ice, and they equalize the one they just gave up. The man advantage break is sprung here, and they execute it perfectly. Two different views from either side of me. One coach not happy they gave up the man advantage break. The other one's pretty pumped with how they executed it. The Kings seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. The Penguins take it along the wall. Oh, what a slick stop by Rudy. And sends it just out of reach. And a big face-off looming at the other end of the ice here. The offensive team's going to be able to get their guys on the ice that they want. Their best offensive players against some players that should be a little worn out. Rudy's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Kings make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Grabbed along the boards by Blake. Gains the zone through center. And he takes a shot. Dead eyes him on the play. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Trottier's got the puck. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. so hard to get a good opportunity and then you miss the net even if it's so close it's still frustrating to you because you know that chance doesn't come around very often broken up with the stick in the defensive end la's got the puck inside the defensive zone moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing denies him in front and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play Barris can take a look up at the big scoreboard and know that that save was a great one. 
getting into the later stages of this period. Pittsburgh's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside. Hello! All tied up on the goal! Really good play to score and to get this game back to even. Now we'll see who can grab momentum. Oh, they never quit in this game. Maybe it's an old cliche, but they play it as long as they can, try to push the game out farther and farther, and they do that by tying it up here. LA's even things up here in the late stages of this second period. Working to get this game back to square has not been an easy road, but now it's a short game as we enter the last little bit of the second period. The Kings look to start the transition game. And now he angles it across to Sandstrom. Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Los Angeles has the puck. Nice pass. Second intermission approaching quickly here. And they can't connect! He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Gets the puck over to Millen. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. It's time for our Hamburger Bonanza. If the whole team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free Hamburger courtesy of our arena. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Third period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. That pass goes a little sideways. Cutting to the front of the net, big time stop. Rudy's got excellent positioning here to make that stop. I don't think if he's in good shape positionally, he even comes close to this. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. The Kings take it across the blue line. Here he is, shot right in front. And he denied that opportunity. Sends a pass over. Great use of the stick at center by Blake. Pass across to Curry. Here he is in front. Can't connect. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Back to the point it goes. Whoa. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Great patience to wait for the traffic to develop, then find the hole to zip one by the goalie. The Penguins have jumped out to a one-goal lead here in this third. Well, pretty clear this game's not going to spread out at all. Two very equal teams battling it out. From the neutral zone now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Samuelson. Denies him! He tracks that pass perfectly. That puck's got nowhere to go. Good stop. Takes the feed. Here we go. It's a two-on-one. Oh, just wide of the net. That play happens so quickly, they're in good position, but they don't get the puck on the net. And that, all that work goes to waste. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that's a great read to force the turnover. The Penguins have it now. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Los Angeles takes the puck through the neutral zone. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Barris gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. 
He doesn't even slow up as he gets close to the point of contact. This is a ferocious body check, and it looks just the same the second time as it does the first. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Penguins are looking to build on this one goal lead. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Kings have it from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Kings get a hold of the puck. Sends the pass over. Donnelly's carrying it ahead. Can't get a hold of that pass. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. Poked away in the defensive end. Rudy's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Francis has won the faceoff. And a great save! Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. They've got numbers here. It's in the back of the net, and we've got ourselves a new game. Always amazes me, James, how one shot changes everything. Now this game is even. Whoa, James, while we're looking at this highlight, the coach is sour that they gave up this man advantage break. But it's beautifully executed, and it's in the net. The Kings have answered back with a huge goal here in the middle stages of this third period. It's always dangerous when you chase the game. But now that you've leveled it off, you feel good entering into the last stages of period three. Huge stop by Rudy. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. His reflexes on display tonight. With all kinds of traffic, he grabs the puck here inside his own end. Here we go, odd man rush here. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Hammers a shot, stops him with a glove. Harris is gonna slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Now, positionally, he's in the right spot here. That's a hard shot. He made it look rather easy. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Los Angeles will go to work here in the offensive end. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Pittsburgh's got the puck behind the net. You don't even need to look up at that $10 million scoreboard to see that the game is close. You can feel it, James. The pressure is on the players to make the right play in a game that has very little margin. Oh, nowhere to go but against the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up, but the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Penguins have broken the tie here in the late stages of the third with a huge goal to take the lead. I like the way that they pushed after this goal. Now that you have it, you want to continue to try and push the game in the other direction. Shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Stopped with ease. And he regains control of the puck. Take it along the wall by Coffey. And that's off a stick. Puck scooped up by Sandstrom. Moves it to Granato. Slides the puck over. The Penguins carry it along the wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. That pass doesn't go. Wow, did you get the speed gun out for that one there, Ray? No, I didn't get it out in time, and that's a heck of an effort by him to go all that way to keep the play alive. No icing there. And that's broken up. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. 
standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight. It's our own Carlin Bade. Lemieux's been buzzing and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Stevens sees a little bit of an opening, but he thinks he can make that move every time. I like it, it's aggressive, it just doesn't work there. Great defensive effort with the stick. Robitaille's lugging the puck. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. LA's regained possession of the puck. Let's it rip! Shuts him down. Get that slop out of here, he makes the stop. And there's no rebound, off in the corner it is. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Stanton's picking up steam. Hangs onto the puck. Here's a shot. Blocked in front. Quick feed to Robitaille. On the attack along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Barrett's to grab a drink, look at the scoreboard, and revel in that great save he just made. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Los Angeles wins the draw. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides the cross ice pass. All alone! Here comes the pushback. Sador's looking around for somebody to fight. He's gonna have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys, and that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick em up zone ability, and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. And now he moves it to Taylor. Big open the ice hit. Was it ever? He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Pretty good hockey game, and I guess they can say they did some good things, like they. Had a better face-off percentage, but not enough, James. Is this sometimes a case, though, the numbers lie? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, great, you won the face-off. You didn't score enough. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.